These directions tell us, move all beavers before getting to each banana. Hint, use two for loops. So all the beavers are gonna move together um, and we're gonna need two for loops. So let's look into it. Okay, so I can tell our bananas are pretty spread out. Banana zero, banana two, ah, banana one. Okay, but they're telling us we want, this hint, these sixes are telling us we want to move the beavers six at a time. That that's their, the key. We don't, if they're giving us clues, we need to take them. So, let's see. For B in bananas, and then I'm going to write, um, so I'm gonna need the beavers to actually move. So that's gonna be a loop inside of a loop. And if you're doing this activity, you would have seen this on activity um, 75, I believe it is. So four, and we could give it any, um, any letter. We can't use B again though. So I'm going to do for V in <laughs> beavers. And so that means all the beavers. B step six. What? I should have used my buttons. I don't normally type, but there we go. B step six. So to collect all the bananas, that's what for being bananas kind of means. First, you want all the beavers to move six. See what the coding is telling us? Now, this cursor is for the beaver loop. I'm gonna press delete because I want it to be in my banana collecting loop. So all the things indented here are part of the banana co collecting loop. All the things indented over here by the V are for the beaver moving loop. So we're putting our usual, I guess, turn to B and then step distance to B. So what makes this one or ones like it tricky are simply syntax or I like to think of that as the grammar of coding. The things about how you format your coding so that the computer can read the code because they need it to be exact. Um, anything off even a space, as you've probably learned by now, and it won't work. So let's see how this goes. Looks like we're gonna get it. As you get ready to move into the next course, looking at the code and the instructions on your screen is gonna be extra important. 